Are you creating a navigation menu with CSS using the conventional method? If that is the case, this video will guide you to a new way of creating CSS. Previously, we style HTML elements using a simple conventional approach, selecting a single element and style them. This is a time consuming and tedious process. Let's see how you can use a modern approach to do the same thing. So in this example, we have a simple navigation menu and we first style this navigation menu with a simple conventional CSS as we do. We have to select all the elements of HTML one by one and then style them in the CSS file. Instead of doing this, we can use a nested CSS element. Just like in SAS, the preprocessor of CSS. So I'm simply going to press here enter and then specify and person. And person refers to the parent element. So this and person refers to this header. Then I'm going to add here a space and then specify the element, which is in my case, this is a navigation menu. So I'm going to pass here a nav just like this. And then I'm going to pass a curly braces. I'm going to put all the styling of this navigation menu right here, just like this. We usually do this in SAS inside a CSS preprocessor. Now, if you want to nest this UL, then you can do that as well. So you can enter here and nest this UL. So I'm going to just add here first ampersand that refers to the parent element and then grab this UL just like this and paste it right here. Let's get rid of this code. That's it. So now this code is also going to work in CSS. Now let me add all the styling inside the CSS using nesting. So I'm going to just copy and paste my code here just like this. So I'm just going to nest all my CSS code inside this header. Save the changes and now you're going to have all the styling to this HTML element. Let me just wrap this in the header just like this. Save the changes and now you can see we have all the styling to this header using CSS nesting. I didn't use any CSS pre-compiler to use CSS nesting inside this simple HTML project. CSS nesting is enabled in some browsers through the CSS nesting module, which is still in its early stage. This is because it's not fully supported by all browsers and it's not yet included in the standard CSS syntax. Now let's talk about the different use cases of CSS nesting. You can use the CSS nesting to pseudo elements as well. Now let's suppose that you have a button and you want to add hover and focus event to that button. For that, you're simply going to add a button just like this and specify the parent element using ampersand and pass the hover effect and focus. Now let's suppose that you want to use a media query. In that case, you can simply go into specify first your container and inside that you can pass your media query. You can add multiple media queries inside this container. That's upon you. You can also use CSS nesting to select multiple elements. For example, let's suppose that you want to select H1 heading tags. So you're simply going to select the parent element and then select all your H1 heading tags and then pass your CSS styling. This is going to specify all the styling to this HTML elements. Just out of that, you can use nested CSS as compound selector. So let's suppose that you have a container and inside that container, you have header and content and you want to select both that classes. You're simply going to add a container and then select both that classes as a compound selector. So now this container work as a compound selector. Just out of that, you also have a forms styling with the nested CSS. So let's suppose that you want to style a form. You're simply going to select a form and inside that you select all your element and style every element using this parent component. You don't have to select the form and then select the label and specify style to it. You just have to select your form and then specify styling to it using nested CSS. Nested CSS can help you with code reputation organization and scalability of your code. So I hope you use this feature in your next HTML project. If you find anything useful, make sure to press the like button and subscribe to keep up with more content like this. I will see you in the next one.